Ahoy there, YouTube! We're back again today for another episode of Bower Plays, and today me and my amazing wife Melina Hello. are going to be playing Kulami, the Mensa Select winner from Fox Mind Games. This is for two players, taking about 20 minutes to play, it's for ages 10 plus, and in Kulami, this is a really simple game, dear, so I'm going to teach you the rules uh, right now. We are going to take turns, and on our turn, we are going to be setting a marble out, and then covering that marble with our little piece right here. Now, on your turn, so let's pretend that I actually played that marble right there, there's three rules that you have to follow. The first rule is you must place a marble that is horizontally or vertically in relation to the marble that I just played. What that means is that space would be good, any of these three spaces, any of these spaces in theory would be good. However, there's two other rules that you have to follow that one is not horizontally or vertically. Diagonal, no. All right, so the second rule is the marble cannot be placed on the same tile on which the opponent has just placed their marble, which means you cannot place on this tile, so those two spots would oh. be blocked off. Next, you cannot place your marble on the same tile where you placed your previous marble. So so if I had one here... You would do that. And then if I went right uh, here, for instance, you could not play in this spot, even though it's not on my tile because it's on your I own. I would have to go like... You could not do that either because you can't oh, play on my tile. I have to go here. So the big rules are horizontally or vertically, and you can't play on my tile or your tile. And now you would move that over there. There you go. Now, how does the scoring work, and when does it end? Well, we're going to continue to go until all of our marbles are placed, or until this will probably be what happens. Uh, one of us cannot play a marble because oh, they don't. Oh, you're trying to outsmart your opponent. Yes. And keep them from placing. So once the scoring has happened, you're going to, uh, since you're not going to do any of the other variants, because there are different variants you can play with the biggest area in the lines, which has like a Connect 5 sort of vibe. We're not doing that. We're just doing the really simple bare bones one. We are going to take all the things, and if this one had three of mine on it and two of yours on it, I would get six points. You just get however many divots there are in there. Uh -huh. Okay. If I had two and you had two, we just pull it off the side. Nobody gets the points, and you have to have a clear majority. Whoever has the most points will be the winner of the game. If there is a tie, does it, it doesn't say, uh, I don't know. I don't think it does anything. It's just, I think you tied. Womp womp. But, anywho, you want to go first or second? I'll go second. All right. Right there. <laughs> it's the only time I can do that legally, so I'm dipping it. <laughs> so I guess that means I'm going here. No, you could go any of these spots over. It doesn't have to be directly. I mean, you could go oh. right here if you wanted. You could go right there. I if didn't you get that from your instructions. I thought it had to be. Well. Okay. No, you that can... changes. That changes a lot. But that is a legal move you did right there. Well, let's just see what happens. All right. So I can go right here. I cannot. I would like to go there, but I cannot go there. So I will go. Because you already played there this round? Your, is, your meeple thing is there? Sure. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just go up here. This game feels elegant. I got to say that right from the get-go. It feels like a classic style game. I feel like I really have to think ahead here. I'm not. But I don't know what I'm thinking ahead on. Try and take control of each, you know, try and take control of as many tiles as you want. I think that's the main plan there. So that was a smart one because had you gone right here, I would most definitely go right there. And then I would be two away from locking up six points. Right. But let's see. I will go right there. And I should probably do that. That would be probably <laughs> a good start, yeah. Great strategy, placing your marbles <laughs> down. Pro tip. <laughs> Come to Bowers Game Corner for the good tips. Okay. Is there? Is it? Is it shared victory? Stupid shared victory. Okay. Okay. Things are clicking. Okay. So I can go. Yep. Doesn't have any tiebreaker scenario. Come on. There. You may go there. That is totally legal, which means now I can go. There! Bam, bam, bam. I didn't think about that. All right. Me neither. What 
One of our children just made an unusual sound from upstairs. My wife made a face as to say, duff. They're being loud. They're supposed to be in bed. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, yes. Let's go there. Ah. No, 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 no. Let's go here. want to go there I want to go like here you would guarantee that I am not going to get the points for that tile and if you get one more or if I don't get two more it would lock up two points but that leaves you open for tiles that you're already on tip for tat dear tip for tat I know that's hard not for me I'm just kind of going all willy nilly but I am I am pleasantly surprised to see that you saw that. I honestly did not think you were going to catch it. It's Thought not I usually something I catch, but like, things clicked. Like, I get it. Now, whether or not I catch it is a different story. I am playing not defensive at all. I'm playing offensive, so we'll see how this goes. I, I, am going, I might hand you sweet, sweet points without even thinking about it. Also, one thing that I do want to mention is that once you've played a couple times, or if you just want to, you can jack it up however you want. You can really mix it up. You can mess up the board. And I will say the variants actually sounded pretty interesting. I did actually, I think the variants are going to add a little bit more strategy to the game, which it already looks like there's a decent amount of it. Um, so one of them is whoever has the biggest area, like just connected completely, connected is going to score points uh, based on how much bigger their connected is compared to the other one. Which, I do like that one. And then the Connect 5 one I like as well. Going there. All right. It's legal. Which means I can lock that bad boy up. Bam! They are really being loud. They really are. All right. Well, are you going to need to think about your turn? <sighs> I'm going to give you a hard decision next time so that way I can go yell at our kids. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can do that. I'm actually going to think about this move. Hmm. Hmm. I could lock up that. It lasts five, that's four points. Or I could do that. Mm. Oh. Stall, dear, stall. Stall. Let's see. We're going to go. You two need to go to sleep. Do you understand oh. me? Lay in the I was all the way in the living room, thank you. My voice just carries. Which is also a great song. <laughs> okay, anyway. That's what you get from Bowers Game Corp. Oh, okay. Oh, do I actually want to, though? It doesn't matter, you already have that one. Nickel and diamond. Nickel and diamond all the time. And give me that two points. I wonder what's the max amount of points. I can see there being some real strategy in this game. Like, I, I dig this. I dig this. Yeah. There's... could be a whole lot of strategy. I feel like this is definitely the kind of game you'd see at a bar. But it'd be missing marbles. And that it, would suck. It would. <sighs> yeah. it would be like four red marbles and like 50 black ones. Granted, this would be pretty easy to replace pieces on. I mean, you could literally go to the dollar store and get any colored marbles and replace the red and the black. You could. I like this better than I was expecting to. I like that. Mm. Don't take my red ones unless you want to give me points. Boom. Let's get frisky. Nope, I said I'm playing attack. I'm playing offense. No, but the, yeah, whatever. I'm giving you the points. Take them. Just take the stupid points. <laughs> Just take them. I'm attacking. I'm not going back. You're attacking? Yes. Now instead of 
So this would have been the move right there. Would be Well, one of them would be to try and block that out so I can negate the two points. But no, I'd much rather get my three points than take your two points. I'm going for the throat. I go hard on Kulami, dear. You should know that. Oh, I was very surprised. I thought for sure you were going to go up here. Lock that up. But now that you know that I'm playing for the throat, you don't have to lock it up, do you? I probably shouldn't say things like this. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, wild card. We're I don't expecting know what that. I'm doing, so Boom. That? No points for you. Wild card. I should have just went to the next spot. What am I doing? You got me second guessing myself. Let's see. Let's go here. Do that, you're gonna lock that up. That's really interesting. Fine, we're doing this. No, I'm doing this. Three points, baby. Give me that three. So now it's almost like a press your luck game for you. Do you go there and just lock it up, or do you say, you know what, he's probably not gonna go take that, so I can just leave it there, and I'll, you know, now there's like a whole other aspect of the game that's slowly unfolding. That's really cool. I'm over here. Yeah, but you could have went there, and you thought about going there, correct? But you started placing your mob roll up here somewhere, and I'm not I over here. I'm, I'm talking, over here. I'm talking game theory, babe. We're talking games. Bam. That's oh, mine. That is yours. Will you stop moving my piece? I'm just excited. I'm excited about the, the level of intricacies in this game. I get that it. That I did not see at first glance. Oh, get that six. Locked it down. Two points. Mm. No one gets the points. Four points, baby. Yeah. Lock it up, dear. Don't play so risky. Just take your four points. Or, yeah, go there. <laughs> or go there. Or that makes more sense. Mm. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Yep. Uh, let's, let's make it interesting down here. I know you don't want to lose those six. I also can't go right next to you on the same I know. I know. Which means I think we're going to get to one of those, like, Connect 4-esque things where it's like, you could trap somebody. I wonder if it's going to get to that. Like, I imagine I personally am not ever going to play this game enough to get to that point, but I wonder if it gets there. Just get there. Oh my god. So if you wanted to lock that up, like you're like, I like I could see That's how... really my only choice. Well, but that also means that then I can go there, which takes the six points off the board. It does. It's ah oh, the choices, the interesting choices. So it's like, do you do that? Or you just go stupid that stupid spot, which you totally don't need. I don't feel like I need that one either. 
Hot shot. All right, whatevs. You made it very apparent you don't want to go to those two spots. <laughs> you have shunned them. That is not a legal move, diagonal. Oh, it's not. Yes. But I can go next to it. You can go right there. That's what I meant. Yeah. I'm trying to get it there. <laughs> it's not working. All right. So that also means that my choices are... Should I lock up two points? Yeah. Two points is two points, baby. Two points! Oh. Yep. Three points. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's... That's not a great play. Yeah. Could be worse. Ah! Thanks. Ah, the correct response is six points! <laughs> or, you know, thanks. Well, some of us like to boast here. Uh-huh. I know. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, so this... So now I see where I could potentially put us in a position to end the game quicker, depending on where I go. There's some layers to this game. And it is my turn. And I do want to say, thanks to me not realizing how much space was in my iPad, we've already seen how this game will end. <laughs> Melina won 19 to 16. <laughs> Or something like that. You won by 29 three. 29 to 26. Yes, you won by three. Um, So can I change it? This is like Quantum Leap. Can I change the future? I don't think I can. <laughs> no, I think we're too far in. Oh, well, let's go there and see what happens. Yeah. That wasn't what I did last that time. That is not what you did last well, then, time. Well, I already, I already know I'm going to lose repeating history. I tell our kids all the time, try something different. I don't think it's going to change anything. If anything, it might lose me some points. <laughs> <laughs> no, because yeah, I already got this one locked in. Ah, oh, this is, this is dookie. <laughs> I'm gonna do worse. I'm gonna do worse. We're keeping the original score. It was twenty nine to twenty six. Are we sure? I know you won by I three. Because I think I won that one last, when we first did it. We won by three. You you could not have won this one. Because I already had three on there. Your turn. I do think you're going to have more points, though. This time. Again. Yeah, so you just canceled out two of my points as well. But I'm about to cancel out four of your points. And this will How? end the game. Because you were about to get four points for that. Maybe, maybe. I think this does end the game. Does this end the game? Did I put your person over there? I don't know. Game over. It is. But let's see. <laughs> the score is the same. I locked up the game last night. So we take all the pieces that don't have a clear winner, and they are gone. So it's that's you. That's me. This is you. This is all you. That's gone. These ones, these little nickel and dimes. All these ones. Nope, that one's gone. Love how this easy the scoring is to do as well. This is really nice how easy this is. You got this that. Was, these two are gone. Yeah, I think those big ones won you the game. I was trying to move them if you'd get your fat hands off of them. I don't feel like they're that fat. Do you have to be so literal? I, well, I'm, I'm just I'm calling them fat hands. I mean... So literal. Count your points. Go hold hands with some dude and see who's got bigger hands Will now. you count your okay. points? <laughs> 10, 16, 20. I have less. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so what? 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 25. So I had less too. But you had still had more than me. You, <laughs> you picked up gained, some points on me. I gained points on you. And let's make sure. Yes, the camera's still going this time. That's great. This is Kulami, the new one from... Fox Mind Games. If it looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check this one out. But what did you think about the game? I like it a lot. 
So Melina does not play too many games anymore because I burn her out with a bunch of Kickstarter games way, way, way back when. Uh, but every once in a while, I'll throw one out there. I thought this one might go well, and I'm glad to see that it did. Because I know abstract strategies are a genre that you do like, even though for me personally... Well, I find that I like them. I like most games I play. I just never get excited. Like, oh, look, it's, it's pieces and there's marbles. Like, okay. I don't get excited about the theme. I don't need the theme. I need the theme. I don't. But there you go. That is Kulami from Fox Mine, the Mensa winner. I see why it got that nice fancy it's, little sticker yes. right there. Lots of layers here, and I would I would like to play this in the future and see what it's like with the different variants, the Connect Five, uh, the because those would definitely change up how you play the games, and as you mentioned, mm -hmm. just how you set up the board would as well. Oh yeah. There you go. If you enjoyed that, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Also, consider supporting the Patreon down below, as currently I am out of a job homeschooling and panhandling on YouTube. In the comments below, let me know what is your favorite thing you've ever done in your life with marbles. Marbles. Any significant good memories of marbles? Just growing up, we had those tubes that you'd mm, run the marbles through and, like, yeah. the wheels would turn and it'd run make its way down the what marble run or whatever it's called yeah 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 those I are pretty legit our kids have those the boys too. have them yeah yeah i'm gonna go with that too those are really fun i remember you know what one of the great things about being a uh, an educator is what we would do is whenever i'd see like some of those in the storage room i would just start hoarding all of them there was one time where i pretty much had four rooms worth of these and i made like a huge <laughs> awesome thing and i was like i told the kids i was like back up like back up this is my this is my work don't touch it <laughs> Save names on it, homie. Get I'm not, off. I'm, not that, I'm here to inspire not you, sharing. not to play with you. <laughs> I'm not sharing. But there you go. That is Kulag. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite thing you've ever done with marbles. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.